Scott Campers, welcome back. So today, just a quick video, we're going to do a door card removal. Seems simple, seems easy, some people may struggle, they may have never done it before. So today, we're going to go through step by step how to remove your front door card. We'll do it on the passenger side, no point doing it on both, they're pretty much give and take the same. So we're going to do that now. So let's get going. So tools that you'll need for this job is a trim tool, a Phillips screwdriver, a T25 Torx screwdriver, and a plastic trim tool. Now, as normal, this isn't what exactly you need to do the job. This is just what you may benefit from having or using. You can use other things, flat blade screwdrivers, different trim tools, etc., etc. This is just what I've got. So that's a brief understanding for you guys what you may need first we've got this plastic panel here now mine have both previously been off so they're not in the best kind of condition however i've got my plastic trim tool and i put it underneath the bottom there taking taking your time guys being very careful being very delicate and i found that mine kind of clips up there clips up like that off now one side is already broken you potentially may break these both of mine had one side broken so i can't confirm how easy it is to not break them however mine have got one side broke they've always clipped back on quite good i didn't break them but i found that you want to lever more upwards than outwards so i found it comes out that way better than that way now with your T25, you'll find there's three screws along the bottom of the door card, and there's one screw in here. Yet again, guys, this is my vehicle. This is a T5. This is what I'm finding. This is what I'm presuming you will find. However, adjust slightly to what you find or what you've got, but generally, I would imagine they're quite the same across the board. So, remove these four. Put those in a safe place that you're not going to lose them. Now, inside this handle, I've got two Phillips screws. On the driver's side, I had two Torx screws. So, yet again, roll with what you've got. One tip I want to put across, guys. When you work on this door panel, don't put too much pressure on the hinges. So, if, if you're going to push in with a screwdriver... Hold your other hand on the door so that you're pushing against your hand rather than the pressure on the hinge. That's one thing I always recommend. Now, a magnetic screwdriver will help with these to get them back out. If you've got a screwdriver that isn't magnetic, if you get a magnet, run it around the edge. That will magnetically charge the end of the screwdriver just enough for you to bring the screws out. That's just a little tip. I'm going to leave the electric window switch in because it's a passenger side, it should only have one plug on. You can even now get a tool like this up behind the clips and pop them out or you've got your one hand on the door and your other hand here and give it a bit of a pull like that. Mouse hair fell out or whatever that is. If you pull it like that, you can pop the clips as I've mentioned guys, this has been off before, other people have worked on this. I'm going through and rectifying other people's bodges, if you like. Um, so they might be a bit stiffer for you. Then here, now you've got all the four screws out the bottom and the two out the top. You'll have to disconnect the switch for the window and also the latch for the door. We're going to do that with the door card hanging off. Now, driver's side, you can leave it from the front, bring it up and out, and then disconnect that. I recommend that because it's a bigger switch. But other than this, the electric window switch, the whole job, whether it be passenger or driver's side, will be exactly the same. One thing to note is you've got your door locking pin to indicate whether it's locked or not. This will remain on, so you need to pull the door card over this so once you've pulled the door card out like that 
and you've got all the clips popped. So now you want to get under here and get here and pull the bottom of the door card out and then pull it up, clearing this. Once you've done that, don't pull it away. I'll try and show you this in a second because it'll be a little bit easier. Okay guys, so when you pull the door card up and it's still attached, you'll have this, if it's the passenger side, to disconnect from the electric window switch, which just pushes that, you push that tab down there, if you can see that, and then that'll pull off. And then this here, this is for the door handle. Now, can you see that hook? Remember that hook, and can you see this plastic kind of claw? Remember that. So the hook goes in here you will see it let's get hold on the hook goes in here so it hooks into that plastic circle there and that claw the edge of the claw goes over the back of this hooking it in so the way you disconnect it is you pull this bit up of the claw so the closest part to where it's hooked into the handle itself, you pull that up and over the plastic and then you push it back and it allows the whole cable to move that way. Once it's over that ridge, uh, over that edge, it allows the whole thing to move that way and come off. And then once you've got the slack, pull it off and then you can move the cable and twist it and like bend it 180 degrees to unhook the hook from there. I hope that makes sense because that's the claw look. So that so that part there, let's try and film this. Sorry guys, it's quite difficult. This part here where the screwdriver is now, that's the part that pulls up like that, like so, and then it pulls you back because if you look in there where the cable comes out that little circular area there guides into that little circular area there and then once the claws over the edge that's what holds it in and then that is just what goes through the circle it just goes in and pushes around like that but you'll see when you take yours off if you've got a partner get them to hold the door card or just put it on your foot or on a towel or something um, and you'll see you can do it one-handed, but you'll see how it is. So hopefully that explanation gives you a helping hand. Right, guys, so I just want to point this out. You'll notice that these clips, they are a very strange layout of a clip. So see how that one there is compressed in, and that one is open. So this part here is away from the panel. That part is close. So this is how they are when they're compressed and the door card is on and tight. This is how you need them to be when you're putting the door card back on. So what you have to do is you have to get behind there and kind of push. I can't struggle in one-handed, but you have to push these out. As an example, can you see that? That there is how you want it so that it will allow it to slide into the door hole. But then sometimes they'll push back. And see how that is dislodged and not like that that is not how you want it you need to reset it now they don't always go like this but I found that probably 50% of mine once I took the door card off was like this and this won't go back on properly so to reset it if you can't do it by your fingers because it's quite difficult if you get a trim tool like that in the back and then get another trim tool or a screwdriver and kind of Push it in between the two and hear that pop. That pops it up like that. Look, apologies for the quality of film, but that's quite difficult. And I'm just trying to get this done. Okay, then, guys. So, then when you've reset all the clips and you're happy, they're all back in, they're all located. All you've got to do now is completely reverse the process that we did to remove it, making sure everything is clipped back in, making sure it's in the correct channel here. The furthest one at the back, you can always reference the driver's side if you get a little bit confused. Making sure it's all back together, all working, everything's functioning, and then that's 
a successful job done. Okay, guys. So that's the end of this one. I hope it's helped you. I hope it's added value. Just a little one, just to show you how to remove the door cards yourselves and show you how to do it properly with minimizing clip damage or door card damage. Sometimes you can't avoid damaging or breaking clips. It's just part and parcel of it. But I'm hoping that after this, you'll be able to do the best you can to try and avoid that. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.